Good day, everyone. We are trying to add a node called JBS AG3 to an uh, existing always on availability group called JBS AG. And uh, when we try and add a replica to the existing availability group, we are getting an error, which is basically uh, is joining uh, the ARC reactor, which is our database, to availability group uh, JBS AG on JBS AG3 uh, basically has failed. Yeah. So now if I click on the error message, what I'm seeing is like, I'm um, uh, getting a uh, message stating like uh, the remote copy of database arc reactor has not been rolled forward to a point in time that is encompassed in the local copy of database log. So uh, I'm using a uh, join only option here and what I'm basically getting a message is that uh, uh, the database uh, that is restored on the uh, 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 JBS AG3 server is not up to date as what we have in uh, JBS AG1. So this is the message I'm getting. So now what I'm going to do, I'm uh, going to take a transaction log backup and then try restoring it there and then see what happens. Okay, so uh, the latest backups are happening on um, uh, this particular location. So what I'm going to do, I'm uh, going to move these uh, transaction log backups onto JBS AG3, try restoring it and then uh, see if we can uh, join it or not. I have uh, copied the uh, log uh, backup files to uh, JBS AG3. Now I'm going to restore it on that server and then see what happens. Okay, so let's try executing uh, uh, this particular command to restore uh, the available transaction log backup. So when I try restoring this backup, I'm getting this message that tells like the log in this backup set begins at LSN, this one, which is uh, too recently to apply to the database. And uh, earlier log backup that includes this LSN can be restored. So this is the message that it is telling. So what I'm seeing is like, I'm trying to restore this transaction log backup. And it basically tells like uh, this uh, uh, transaction log backup seems uh, to be um, um, uh, having an LSN that is uh, greater than uh, uh, the LSN of uh, a previous transaction log backup that is not at restore. So that means like we are trying to restore these six transaction log uh, backup files, but it seems like there were some unrestored transaction log uh, backup files before this, okay? So we know that um, uh, this is the LSN uh, that we need to uh, uh, check for. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back to the primary and then uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, query the uh, MSDB uh, database and then see uh, what are all backups that are there after this LSN, yeah? So let's uh, execute this query. And then what I'm seeing is like, uh, we know that this is the latest backup uh, around 3.35 uh, a.m. So time is 4.58 a.m. So keep in mind, like this is a lab machine, not a production server. So uh, I'm just showing things for, um, uh, just for the demo purpose, yeah. So what I'm, uh, if you look at the backups here, uh, uh, what we are able to see is like we are able to see backups on the backup folder, not this one. Let's look at, uh, yeah. So the backup has happened on this particular folder, and then if you see here, what I'm able to see is like the backups. Um, uh, the only backups that we are finding on the backup folder is uh, uh, around. Uh, 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 3rd December 2023 from 3.30 a.m. to 3.35 a.m. So we don't have any backups before that, yeah? So 3.30 a.m. is the latest one. That is what we tried to restore and it gave an error. Now, if I um, look at this one, what I'm, uh, what I'm able to see is like, we have the backups from 3.30 a.m. to 3.35 a.m. But if I look at the old backups for uh, greater than this particular LSN, what I'm seeing is like there are some backups that was taken around uh, 8 August. So uh, as uh, advised earlier, this is a demo machine. I basically like shut down uh, SQL server around uh, um, uh, whenever it is not required. So that is the reason whenever um, I have uh, uh, the database server online, it takes a transaction log backup because I have a scheduled uh, uh, a job here. And for this demo purpose, I have uh, after like uh, three or four backups, I have stopped it. But in reality, this is just going to help you like when you run this particular um, 
TSQL uh, command, it will be able to tell you what are the backups that needs to be restored for bringing this particular uh, database uh, up to date and then set up uh, uh, availability group. Yeah, in my case, uh, it is pretty clear. I don't have those old backups, so there is no way I'll be able to uh, uh, do anything. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is like I will take a differential backup and uh, see if you are able to restore that on the uh, uh, JBS AG3 server and if it is going to help us. Yeah, let's uh, uh, take a differential backup and try restoring it uh, and then see what happens. Okay, so now we have um, uh, this particular command. I'm going to take a differential backup to drive C drive temp. Let's go ahead and start it. Let's go ahead and start it. Let's wait for the backup to complete. The backup, 10% uh, uh, it is completed. So let's wait for it to complete. I'll pause this video and then I will uh, uh, resume it once the backup is completed. Okay, so the backup is completed now. So what I'll do now, I will uh, uh, take this uh, backup and move it across to um, um, JPS AG3 and then I will uh, try restoring it there and see what happens. Okay, so uh, the differential backup has been co copied over. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try restoring that differential backup. And uh, as soon as I uh, selected that uh, differential backup, what I'm getting like, this is the message that I'm seeing. Yeah, so it is basically telling no full database backup is selected to be restored. Yeah, so now that we have restored that particular uh, database, like uh, with the full database backup and then availability group was uh, set up earlier, what happened is like we um, were synchronizing the log records. Yeah, now when we try to uh, uh, restore the differential backup, it is basically telling like you need to restore the full database backup as well. So the option of restoring the transaction log backup is not possible in this case because uh, the required transaction, some of the required transaction log backups are not available. And uh, what I did is like I tried taking a differential backup and see if it can be restored. Again, we were not able to do that because uh, it basically tells like you need to restore the full database backup also. So in this case, for example, if you get uh, an error like this uh, stating like uh, uh, the join uh, for the always on is not uh, possible because uh, it is not up to date that a secondary database is not up to date, you basically basically have to get that LSN, use that um, TSQL query I use and look for the transaction log backups that needs to be restored and then you need to restore it onto the secondary and then you need to join it. But in my case, since I don't have the required transaction log backup and differential backup is also not an option, you need to basically restore the full database backup and then the differential backup and then any um, uh, differential backups and then you need to uh, synchronize it. So in my case, what I'm going to do is like I'm going to use the seeding method now. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to uh, JBS AG1 and then uh, close this. Yep, and then now what we'll do is like, we will uh, do a seeding method, yeah? So this time I'm going to do a, a seeding method and then we'll take it from there. So you are seeing it as uh, uh, um, AGS AG3 is added here, but let's look at uh, JBS AG3, which basically, uh, needs that one added yeah so if you see here it is still in restoring and then if you uh, look at the availability group here what you can see is like uh, uh, you will see that uh, that particular database which is your um, arc reactor uh, it is in uh, um, uh, warning mode basically we know what is the problem so now what I'm going to do I'm going to remove this JBS AG3 and then what I'll do is like I will use the seeding method. Yeah, so let's uh, delete it. Now it is gone. Now look at the available replicas here. We don't have anything. So let me refresh it. And then if you look at the availability database, you don't have anything. Yeah, now what I'm going to do, I'm uh, going to add the replica here using the seeding method. Seeding method is going to take some time. Uh, uh, because in my case, uh, JPS AG3 is in uh, Korea Central 
and um, JBS AG1 and JBS AG2 are on um, uh, east to west. So uh, uh, there will be some latency. So going to take time, but it will definitely work out. Shouldn't be a problem. Yep. So uh, let's wait for it to get added. And once it is added, let's click on next. Then let's use the automatic seeding method here. Okay, so we are getting this error that the database is already there. So what I'm now going to do, I'm going to clean up that database and then uh, rerun it again. Okay, I've removed that uh, database from JBS AG3. Let's do the rerun validation. This time it completed fine. So uh, uh, once everything is done, I will click on next and then let's uh, click on finish. Yeah. So if you look at the more details, so it's gonna take some time. So let's uh, wait for uh, it to complete. Uh, uh, so things would be like um, uh, a little fast uh, had it been on the uh, same location, but since JBS AG3 is on Korea Central, gonna take some time. Okay, so it shows us uh, completed, but uh, uh, the seeding is gonna take some time. Yeah, so now uh, let's do a refresh here. Then see it is uh, getting uh, restored. So uh, it's basically not a restoration. Basically it uses that uh, uh, same method as always on availability group wherein it moves the log records. So it's gonna take some time. Uh, once it is done, um, I will uh, um, resume this video and show that to you guys. Yeah, so uh, let's wait for it to complete. So now I'm monitoring the seeding process. Uh, as we know, like it's going to be very, very slow in my case. Uh, so I'm using this uh, dmvsys.dmhadr physical seeding stats. And uh, I'm looking at the transfer size uh, bytes and then the database size. And what I'm seeing is like uh, the database size is close to 30 GB. And uh, the transfer size is uh, uh, this particular value, not even 1 GB as of now. So if you execute it, you can see that it is basically changing, yeah? So that shows us that the seeding is progressing uh, well, but uh, since I have a problem here wherein my uh, network latency uh, is very high, uh, we are uh, seeing it, it is taking good amount of time. But other than that, I think like everything seems to be okay. It will slowly and steadily complete and then the database will come online. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.